guys welcome back to my channel so oh my god there's a fly <laughs> so i have got a camera so let me know what you guys think of the quality i haven't seen the quality of this um obviously i'm just recording now but anyway i thought i will do a couple of days like in my life just vlog whenever i can i look like a boiled egg because i have no eyelashes on but um yeah so it's currently what time is it it's actually 9 50 um and i finished work an hour ago just got home just got home an hour ago eaten and i thought i would start my vlog from tonight um showing you um a pr package that i received and then i will continue like just a couple of days i've got the flip screen at the top so i'm going to keep looking at myself because i feel like i look like an egg but let's show you what i received from this brand so i've got this cute little package from sassy shop wax and oh my god mm, that smells so nice let's smell this one. Oh my god it literally smells like bubble gum these are, that's the brand name, Sassy Shop Wax. They literally handmade candles, like handmade wax. How do I like this? Anyway, I'm going to give these a go once I clean my room. I'm excited to try them out. I also picked up a order from Zara, which is actually, I ordered it ages ago. But obviously now we don't support Zara. Before anyone comes for me, I actually ordered this nearly two weeks ago. But I only just picked it up. Because I was contemplating should I even pick it up. But I thought I've already made the order. I'm just going to get it. If I like it I'll keep it. If not then that's it. I won't be shopping from there again. But yeah I'll show you what I picked up from there. What is this angle? So it's basically just like. It's got a bow wrap at the top. Some plain beige trousers. But I thought with a white shirt they might look cute. So I just quickly popped on Zara trousers. We're going to ignore the background mess. Because I'm in the process of cleaning it. But these are basically the trousers. I don't know how I feel about them. I feel like they're a bit too small. This whole outfit is cute. Obviously my shirt needs ironing. This whole outfit is cute. But I don't know what shoes I would wear because I wear trainers on a regular basis. And my flat sandals don't match this because they're a bit too casual. So I'm going to try to figure out what shoes I would wear and then I'll keep it. If I can't figure out the shoes then I'm not keeping them. But yeah, I thought this was cute. Also, my jewellery is from... Where is it from? No, let me find the box. It's from House of Rain. Here. I've also got a ring and also these earrings. The jewellery is so, so nice. The quality is so good. And if you know me, then you know that I'm obsessed with gold jewellery. I only ever wear gold jewellery. Sometimes I wear rose gold, but I prefer gold over silver, and I will always be wearing a necklace. Always, even in the shower, like, always. But yeah, super pretty, make sure you guys check them out. I am having issues with this camera because I just played back a video and couldn't even hear myself, so... I don't understand where the speaker is on this, so I don't know where I'm covering it. It's been a long day, I need to wash my face, clean my room, and then go to sleep. Hello guys, I've just woken up. My eyes are so swollen because I keep having an allergic reaction to something. I don't know what it is. But at this point I figured it's a face wash. I don't know. But yeah. This is what I look like when I just woke up. We are going to clean my room. I need to have a shower and wash my hair today. So today's a hair wash day. And I swear I clean my room every day. But then it ends up looking like a mess. Okay, so this morning I have a glossy, well, I have two glossy orders to put together and send out. So that's what I'm going to do. So I try to keep on top of my orders and even though I offer standard delivery, a lot of the time I try to get the orders out 
the next day but yeah i'm gonna get those orders ready then i'm gonna take a shower and light some candles in here because i didn't do it last night because i was so tired <laughs> So I've just done my skincare and my eye I realised about the whole way it was sore and it's because I'm reacting to something I don't know what it is it's not to any of the products that I've just used um, I was already reacting in the morning so I don't know if I've got hay fever um, or if I've got an allergy because I haven't actually put any skincare on in the morning until just now so I don't know what I'm reacting to but <sighs> My eye has been playing up, it's been so itchy and so sore. So I'll quickly let you guys know that before anyone thinks that I was reacting to any of the products that I was using. But yeah, that Foreo machine, honestly, so relaxing. I absolutely love using it. Literally feels like I'm at the spa at home. Okay guys, so it is currently 5.51 and I need to get my Instagram post ready to post tonight i'm thinking i'm gonna post around about eight o'clock so i like to have it all pre-ready with my caption and everything so i don't have to worry about it at the time and i can just click on post so yeah this is the picture that i'm gonna post i think i'm gonna have this as the first picture so this outfit is actually from plt so this is a collaboration with plt um it's just a jumpsuit my daily struggles are literally thinking of a caption so what I tend to do is I'll listen to some music and see if I can get any captions out of that. But in the meantime, I'll set up the rest of my caption. Ooh. And then... I make sure to hashtag any of the brands hashtags as well good morning guys so today is Tuesday Wednesday it's Wednesday let me just check yeah it is Wednesday 11 o'clock um, so today I have work so I literally just got ready I'm just gonna do my hair and I thought I'll show you guys how I do my hair because I do get a a few people asking um how i straighten my hair i mean i don't straighten it i always curve the ends in to give me volume but yeah so i'm gonna show you guys how i do my hair um and i'll do it on a time lapse so i'm not boring you guys you can create on a beauty guru because i feel like i'm all over the place but yeah so sometimes i section my hair sometimes i don't it just depends on my time and then I just flick in the ends and let it dry, not dry, let it settle so you can see that's done and then I go on and take the next piece again just straighten the tops where I normally would And then as I get to the end, just curve it inwards as if you're about to curl your hair. Sometimes I put rollers in as well when, again, when I have the time. So can you see that? So I like it to be very effortless looking. So you can see the difference. This is the side that I've done and then this is just the... Uh straight side i mean it's not perfect but i like it to be like effortless um and especially when i put my hair in a pony and it's just like really thick and like waved in 
it literally looks like a, a pony piece in so it will look so good but yeah i'm gonna finish off the rest of my hair i literally just wave it in the whole way and it does last until my next hair wash um i don't really have to do my hair again every day but what i was gonna say was usually i will use um those little velcro rollers at the bottom to like just keep it in and then do my makeup but that's only for like when i have extra time and i've got a shoot or something to do but on a regular basis for work then i've just been looking at the flip screen instead of the camera and um, but yeah usually for work this is how i would do it because it's a lot quicker and it still looks cute so yeah and uh, my lip combo if anyone is interested I hate eyelashes, I really really do, I can't wait to get lash extensions. My lip combo is Buff, Velvet Might Buy Glossies and Coffee Lip Pencil. This is literally my go-to lip combo, my go-to makeup to be fair, just not the eyelashes. But yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so my hair is done. Let me see. It's really like just effortless. Yeah, super fresh. I prefer this over like dead straight hair. I don't know why I feel like this gives me more more texture. My hair just looks like it's been done from the salon. Been done from the salon, so yeah. I've been up for about two hours. What time is it? So I'm always checking the time. It's half twelve. I got up about half ten. Had my breakfast at eleven, as you guys have just seen. Um, and I need to clean my room once again. So let's ignore the background. See, this is what I mean. My room is always in a mess, even though I literally just cleaned it two days ago, as you guys have probably seen. So anyway, um, I need to shave my face i'm only gonna actually shave my lip um because my eyebrows i haven't actually had my eyebrows done in like two months or probably longer i can't even remember and they still haven't grown back which i'm not complaining but my face could really do with a shave but i want to try to grow it so i can go get fresh face wax because i don't really like shaving my face i just do it in between um so i don't know if you can see that's quite grim. So I'm going to pop on some face oil and then shave it. And then I'm also going to show you guys this Bleeder Skin Food Cream. Because I put this up on my Instagram story about a week or two ago. And a lot of people wanted to know whether it was worth getting. And I really like this, especially because I have dry skin. I really like the glow that it leaves after going to just put on some oil so yeah today is my day off and then i am working like six days seven days in a row after today but 
which is why my vlog is really chilled because I haven't, haven't made no plans for the week. I just wanted to sort of sleep, rest up at home before I have a very busy week. So yeah, so what I use to shave my face, I use one of these tinkle razors that I literally just get off eBay. Um, my face is always swollen in the morning so I do apologise and I literally just shave my face. I know your hair does not come back thicker, that's all a myth, I've literally been shaving my face for like over 5 years um, and my hair just comes back the way it usually would. I am actually going to laser my face at home so after I've shaved, shaved my face I'll wash all the oil off and then I'm going to laser my face at home and I'll show you guys how I do that. I don't touch my sideburns because I always get my sideburns waxed um, because I feel like each time I shave my sideburn there's always a shadow there and I'm not going through that again so I'll leave these to grow for another like two weeks and then I'll go get a fresh wax. I know not everyone likes to get their sideburns waxed and it's fine if you want to keep yours but I've always hated having sideburns so I completely removed them. I've just washed my face and then I'm going to use my laser machine from Silky Bay. I was actually sent this I think last year and again I haven't used it continuously which I should have done. And you just got to make sure that your face is dry. You can change like the settings on here. By the way you can laser like your whole body with this. I When I first got it I started to laser my full body but then again I didn't keep consistent so I can't even tell you guys anything about my results but hopefully if anyone's interested then I will regularly do it and like keep you on my journey with this. So it is quite noisy so you just got to change the settings on here and I'm going to put it to number two because it's my face so I don't want to have it too high but then if I feel like it's I could do with the highest setting then I will change that. It's not painful at all. So I close my eyes because that flashlight is so bright. And it does come with um, black sunglasses like to protect your eyes. But I never actually wear it. Okay, so it won't actually like work or flash even unless the light is flat down. So if it's like at an angle and it's not really on your skin, it won't actually buzz. Which is a good thing because then at least it shows you whether it's actually like capturing anything. Um, so yeah, I'll take about five minutes to do my full face. Um, and it does come with the instruction manual. Um, so like... As you've just seen, I won't buzz the same place more than three times. So like, let's say if I'm buzzing here, I won't do it more than three times because that is actually bad for you. So I do like once over, then I do it twice over and then a third over. And then I will leave that. I have actually had laser on my full body about three, four years ago. I didn't really feel like it worked as well as I thought it would have. I mean, it worked on my body in like certain places but it didn't really work I wouldn't say it, it was like 90% clean if that makes sense I'd say it probably reduced my hair by like 40% um, which is why like I'm trying out this to see if it will work on my face because I didn't actually do it on my face because I didn't want to shave my face at the time we are going to go on to my skin food and I want to show you guys uh, hopefully it picks it up I want to show you guys how glass like this leaves my skin so it's quite thick I don't know if you can see that it's pretty thick like when you put it on your face you can feel it like 
dragging so that's why I tried to warm it up in my fingers first so that it's not like I'm pulling on my skin and I really massage this in my face I will go to work on no makeup days and do my skin prep and use this and I kid you not I've had people like my colleagues say to me your skin literally looks glowy and it's because I drown myself <laughs> in this product and that lasts all day long I mean it's not for everybody I think if you don't like having like a slightly greasy feeling to your face then this isn't for you again I have super dry skin so I can appreciate having greasy skin because I'd rather that than my face feel like it's just sucked out all of the moisture I'm gonna put my pixie brightening vitamin C priming oil and this will literally be my go-to skincare for like when I'm going to work and I'm not going to put on makeup. If anyone could tell me, are you supposed to put sunscreen on before your moisturiser or after? Because I always put it on before my moisturiser, so on my bare face. Because I feel like it's actually protecting my skin because it's on my skin and not on top of a moisturiser. But I've heard mixed things, so let me know what you guys do and what is actually the right way. I'm gonna bring this vlog to an end now um just because I haven't got anything planned for the rest of the week I'm literally gonna be working now for the next for the next like week or so so I will catch you all in my next vlog when I actually I'm going out and about and doing things I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty chilled days in my life I don't know what I'm gonna call this vlog but yeah, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did then please click on that subscribe button smash a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you'd like to see anything in particular next but yeah thank you guys for watching and I shall catch you all in my next one bye